Guess who's Bazak? What's going on, y'all? All right, is Shang in the building? Let me see. Let me see. Shang is here. Where's the request? Send that request, Shang. Where you at, Doc? I see you. I see you in the building. I see everybody else, too. After dark, after dark, after dark. Damn it. All right, y'all. Savage AF. We're doing an extra hour. Yep, Eve did. Eve got arrested for smacking people at uh, at Walmart. Yep, I'm, that totally plausible. To total, totally plausible. Um, uh, Shane, come on, man. Jump, j- maybe jump back in and jump back off or whatever. But uh, yeah, I see you, dog. Um, we are Savage AF. This is after dark, man. You know, usually we're uh, Tuesday through Thursday, six p.m. to seven p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But tonight we're gonna do a little extra hour because you know, we got we got, you know, we got shit to talk about, man. Um, but my feet is not fucking showing. Sh- oh, here we go. Up, oh, up. Oh, view shine. Boom, boom. He about to come in, y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm about to get the whole thing right now, right now. Right now, right now, it's coming in right now, connecting. I said, boom. Big damn Now, out. is it is it pixelated? Is it is it pixelated and all messed up? Who gives a fuck? That's what that's what they're trying to do. It's one of them days that fuck it. Uh, we just, you know, I, you fuck know your what, pixelations. Though, I, it's weird. I I, you know what's weird about this whole thing? Hmm. Is I, I, literally, yesterday I did it, the day before. I'm sitting right in front of my, my computer, and the shit didn't do it. And then today, it's acting up. It's all good. So. It's, we got pretty pretty rude ninety nine yeah, joined just know, joined. Um, you, you come to the right place because we pretty rude too. God damn it, we don't give a fuck. Yeah, Savage AF. Our motto is "fuck your feelings," <laughs> and that's what we do, y'all. Uh, GG one thousand, yeah. welcome back. Eves, we love you. JD Line Pat, everybody, welcome back, man. Thank y'all for joining in. Uh, Corey Ruffin. Oh yeah, yo, make sure y'all check out. Uh, make sure you check out the website. I fixed the I fixed the website and also have. Um, Oh, they ask you, what are you drinking? I also fixed the, bourbon. um, there it is. When you see it this dark, it's bourbon, baby. I, you know, right. as uh, much as I recognize it, I, Kentucky does one thing, they make bourbon, and I'll fuck with them on that. That's it. Nothing else. Oh, okay. And uh, I want to let you guys know the website is, um, uh, we're going to pin the website on there. But uh, thank you for all the people that have bought T-shirts and masks. I fixed the inf- the link to the mask. For some reason, one of the pixels dropped out. And if you have one code drop out, the whole thing can drop out. So I did fix that. So everything is fixed in that. The, the, the masks <clears throat> now are a separate price. Yes. The, you awesome. know, the separate price. You can buy one, two. Whatever we were doing two, but now we do one. You can buy one individually, and that's it. And also t-shirts, and uh, don't be average. Be savage. Shirts are up there, and also the new shirts are all up there. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I, I wanted to make sure you guys know. It looks like markers, mark forty six. It, it's not makers. It's not the forty six. It's just the reg- makers it, mark. It, it's I'm just sorry. the regular makers mark. Uh, see for three one three. Terry Clark two one seven. We see you as well, dog. What up, though, to both of y'all? All right, so let's continue with the show because we 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 had to drop off. Uh, on the first hour, because we ran, we it, it ran out of time. But uh, but um, what we're gonna do sometimes and letting people know, we will go a little bit late on yeah, some shows. Yeah. But um, we're also, but since we're letting you know that on Fridays it won't be uh, six to six p.m. to seven p.m. or later, three p.m. to four p.m. Friday, Mondays and Fridays. So we make sure we remind people, let you know that it'll be at that time. That's what okay, it is. Terry man. Clark in the building. Um, so, so, so I think we we ended off the last show talking about the the CDC and their uh, kind of new uh, mandate that you can't evict people right now, which 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 was right. just it's such a fucked, just interesting it's such a fucked up time to be just yeah. interesting thing to uh, you know to kind of uh, have the CDC highlight. Um, another thing that gets highlighted, and, and, you know, these are all results of the pandemic, but another thing that gets highlighted is that these, uh, these two little girls, man, in uh, Salinas, California, right. were, were found sitting outside of a Taco Bell. And apparently they were using the Taco Bell's Wi-Fi to go to school, right, online. 
Right. Um, and uh, Taco Bell employees noticed them sitting out there. They were by themselves, just kind of sitting on the curb type thing by the bushes outside the Taco Bell, using the Wi-Fi um, for school again. Um, and the police were called. So nothing, it didn't turn into any crazy shit like that, but it does highlight this sort of socioeconomic gap. Um, and while there have been, you know, donations and things towards the family and whatnot to make sure the girls have what they need to go to school online. Have Wi-Fi so they can have yeah. Wi-Fi, yeah. Um, there's also this other faction that wants to sort of uh, persecute the parents, um, you know, for having their kids out like For not having the money. Like that. Um, and the reality is, is, th is just that, like, this whole thing highlighted that the, the social distancing schooling, right, the online schooling just highlighted that not everybody has access to that, right? Like, not everybody has Wi-Fi or a hotspot they can... Including me, apparently. Yeah, right. <laughs> apparently, right. Not including even me. Sam. That's why I'm sitting outside. Not even with Laugh Factory and Dash Radio behind us. We can't always get the fucking reception we need, right? So... Um, the reality is, is that you have these families out here and it, it, you know, to me, it's sad that you're going to persecute a family. Like they, they were obviously working for a way for their kids to have education, like on like, education and they don't have it on, they don't have online services at their house. So they took them to a Taco Bell and yeah, they sat outside and yeah, they were young and by themselves, but to be honest, man, I used to roam through the hood by myself young or with, you know, a couple of friends young, man. And like... Oh, yeah. I, I mean, if that's the case, you just kind of had to figure this shit out. My like, yeah, you just, you just yeah. had to figure this shit out, dog. And like, but no, I, if and, anything, and they should give the kids the props outside. for doing... And the kids sat there... Yeah, give the kids props for trying to do it. Yeah, for doing their work, trying to make it make it a, a a bad situation at least manageable. And these motherfuckers complain about it. All you bitches that was complaining about it, let me tell you something, okay? First off, you shouldn't have took that bitch soap and washed your bitch ass, and that's why you acting like a bitch. And then when you get out, you took your bitch towel and dried yourself off with the bitch towel. The and then after that, you put on some bitch ass clothes and you walked out and you complained about two little girls trying to just go to school. So. Stop being so bitchish. Yeah, that's that's, that's, that's that was not bitches whole in a row. Thing though, that's the, you know that's your. Uh, what I just said was called a bitch soliloquy. Yeah. <laughs> bitch, bitch soliloquy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a bitch soliloquy. That's... Yes, I said Eve. Bitch soap. Because people like that, the fact that you were complaining about these kids, and you're saying, well, they were by themselves, and they, they, they were, you know what, these kids walk around by themselves a lot, you know, long as they ain't walking by themselves with a AR fucking especially, gun, how about especially that? Especially since uh, a lot of these kids have been, um, or a lot of kids have been um, isolated from their parents at the border by this administration right. in a very specific way to send a message to not bring your ass to our border um is right very and, and intentional i think there's a there's two books coming out there one and in fact i can't remember his name he's one of the people that worked side by side with trump that said that all of that stuff pertaining to the thing was intentional yeah. he specifically said do this to throw fear and to people coming to the border and he purposely put people in cages so we already know what that is. So you can put people in cages, but two little girls can't be outside of Taco Bell and use the Wi-Fi. Again, first off, okay, I think what happened is the reason your your skin is so glossy is you use a lot of bitch lotion. You use bitch lotion, and real. you probably brush your teeth with bitch-ass toothpaste. So when the breath comes out your mouth, it's all bitch-ass fucking hot. words. Hot. It's hot yeah. bitch words. Um, <laughs> the fuck was that that just flew by? I don't know. I didn't even see it, but hey, <laughs> fuck it. Stay alert, brother. Stay alert. Everything's out there trying to get us. Pandemic, pandemic. Kanye West. <laughs> they trying to. They every every avenue they can get at us, they going to. Um, it, it, you know what? It's funny. They said that the the people were trying to put um, Kanye West 
on on to basically take away some of the black vote from yeah, uh, Biden. Guess what? This is how bad it is right now. Uh, there one with with us at least. I say with black folks, there was actually people backing him. Like no, for real, not the people in the Republican Party. There was actually black people were like, well, you no, know no, what? No, no, yeah, yeah. Kanye probably can. No, Kanye that's... probably could get this whole infrastructure thing done. I think Kanye do a great job. Come on, man. It's just dummies. Yeah, no, they're, they're You know what? This is there's definitely a faction that is of of young black people that are like, oh no, no, yeah, I'm about that Kanye shit. Uh, you know, and, and listen to all of his albums. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> high school dropout. Uh, you know, late registration. Yeah, this nigga's all about his business. Oh, shit. Shang left. God damn it. Well, he'll be back. That's what we do. Savage AF. Sometimes we drop in. Sometimes we drop out. Sometimes we don't give a fuck. We're Savage AF. Fuck your feelings. If you're like, oh, man, why they don't have they signals be fuck your signal, nigga. Shang will be back. I will, too. We're going to keep popping up in your timeline. That's just how it is, dog. <laughs> That's what we do. Uh, make sure you follow us. Uh, Savage AF is the podcast. Uh, iTunes, Google Play, Slacker, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, Spotify. Shang is back. We're going to view that. We're going to go live with Shang. I'm getting waiting for comedian Shang. Dot, dot, dot. Those are ellipses for those who don't know. That means I'm connecting. Bam. Why is right it back. so pixelated? Bitches, right back still, on y'all bitches. Is it, is it still pixelated like a motherfucker? Every now and then. Who gives a fuck, dog? At this point, we just gotta, we gotta soldier through. I think you gotta hold it as still as possible, my nigga. Like, too much motion is, we get the pixels with the motion. So I need, you just gotta be like, I think that Republicans are bad people and they will not try to help black people and then we have to leave Earth. What's up, like, Sula? <laughs> uh, gotta, and, Saluminati in and the It dropped out it, it, it dropped out because um, Masula just uh, rang me. It just it'll drop out. It's all good. And another thing, I'm gonna have to go inside because I'm on ten percent charge. I got bugs in the so. No, yeah, see. you got bugs in it. <laughs> we, we 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 only gonna have so much show left, anyways. <laughs> um, all right. So before we get out of here, then, uh, and and let's make sure we understand this. Um, Georgia is on my mind. All right. Yesterday we talked about Florida, and I know Shane's gonna reconnect. It's it's gonna he gonna come right back. I know I know y'all gotta freeze like I did. Ooh, got that bug. <laughs> um, so Georgia, that's our next state that we're talking about. Okay, this is where I'm gonna tell you guys, and trust me, this is an Apple Spotlight news uh, article that allows you to look up any state and every state. And, and how you can vote early and by absentee and what everything is going on. So Georgia's October 5th, 10-5. That is your deadline to vote. Or, I'm sorry, to register to vote in Georgia, right? So first step is register. If you are not registered to vote, register to vote. Uh, only one mystical. Oh, she said, what are you about to say about my state? So only one mystical. If you're in Georgia, if you're not registered to vote, understand that your deadline is October 5th. You have to register by then. And in most situations, you can register online. So don't even think that you have to go somewhere or do extra shit. Go online and just Google. How do I register to vote in Georgia, right? If you're a Georgian, yeah, so, just ask yourself, welcome yes. back, Shane. I, I'm asking them that. Ask, ask, if you're Georgian, ask yourself on Google, how do I register to vote in Georgia, right? And it will tell you how to, but not only that, that your deadline is October 5th, okay? Beyond, beyond right. that, in every state, you should also confirm your registration, right? So, um, which you can do online, and make sure you check everything online. Make thing. sure you make sure you're registered, uh, because right now people, you're gonna have to be a little bit more diligent 
this year because you're going to get a lot of stuff that's going to try to block you. Um, am I still being elect uh, Shang Electronica or no, is it no, better? No, no, you're very, you're very good right now. You're very good right now. Awesome. Right. I had to come back in because I had to plug it in. I had to yeah. plug it in. But no, I think that the main thing is, especially people in Georgia, because they're definitely going to try to target Georgia and they're going to target the, the black vote down there. They're going to target the black vote there. They're going to target the black vote in Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Florida. So in turn, you got to make sure that you're on your shit. You got to be diligent about the shit. You got to make sure that you check the website and vote early. Right now, you can vote early, especially. Mil people in the military have to really be on it because they can't do the mail-in as much because if it gets there a day late, or they're not going to count it. Right. You know? Right. So right. you got to be on so, it. So then on top of that, right, we know that we can all vote on November 3rd, right? That's election day. So that, that's obviously another option for you in Georgia, right? But... What we want to encourage here on Savage AF is a, an early outgoing of the vote, uh, and mo mostly by absentee, right? Like, don't don't stand in lines on election day or even a week before, depending on your state, right? Like, know that in Georgia, okay, you can okay. So your your deadline for requesting an absentee ballot is October thirtieth which is the day before Halloween, which means, ladies, if you're dressing up as a very, very sexy bumblebee or murder hornet or, you know. Or, you or, know, or a, 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 a naughty very nurse. Sexy a naughty lady nurse. Bug, yeah. Naughty nurse, like <laughs> librarian that's just ready to collect on these book fees. Um, if you're dressing up for that and you haven't registered to vote, you fucked up, okay? <laughs> so yeah. So, at the point so, so uh, Pedro, what are you really? <clears throat> Sorry. That before you get your slutty Hollywood, Holly, Halloween costume together, make sure that you you've registered in Georgia. So. Shang locked up a little bit, but, but yeah, my, 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 yeah, my point is before you become a whole hornet, make sure that you, make sure that you register to vote in Georgia. October 30th is your deadline to register. Uh, or actually, sorry, o October 5th is your deadline to register. October 30th is your deadline to request an absentee ballot, right? right? So request your absentee ballot by October 30th, but do it as soon as possible, guys, because you don't, in this mail-in system shit, you don't want to do that, right? You don't want to sit here waiting till the last minute. Um, your completed ballot must be postmarked no later than Tuesday, November 3rd. Okay, so when you get your absentee ballot, it's got to be in by the 3rd. So that means get, in on, get it in on the, on the 2nd, on, on October 31st, Halloween, 30th, whenever, right? Get it right. in as soon as possible. Um, early voting in Georgia, it, it begins uh, Monday, October 12th through Friday, October 30th. So that means you can go to the polls as early as, early as October 12th and just go online and Google, where do I vote, right? And, and, and right. things like but, this. But we'll you know what you else know. is happening? Go ahead. You know, this is, this is how diabolical these motherfuckers are because they, you know, they do all kind of underhanded bitch shit. Today is be, quit being a bitch day. Um, and that's for all of the Republicans that's trying to block this shit. The GOP is trying to block it. Basically, even if you go online, and what they're trying to do is actually block some of the websites and have some of the websites taken down. That gives you information pertaining to voting. Don't know if y'all are hip to that, but that's happening other than them attacking the post office because there's no other way to fucking put it. They're attacking the post office to slow down the fucking mail-ins so it wouldn't get in in time. But it, dummy, dumb dummies don't realize... It will affect the Republicans, yeah. too. So the information, if you're a Republican and you're here listening to Savage AF, I got to tell you something. You better vote early, too. 
You're still going to hopefully lose, but I'm just telling you that because you got to look at right now. Biden is ahead by 12 points, and that doesn't mean he's going to win, but he's ahead by 12 points in some fucking places, 10 points. The lowest he's ahead is seven points in some fucking places, especially the places where the electoral vote counts. We're not going to get them. Places. That's why. We're not going to get them. <laughs> no, we don't get those places. So what Pedro is basically telling you is that you have to, all the people that are in those electoral college hotspots, I call them hotspots because Swing one states. they're hotspots pertaining to COVID and Swing states, hotspots, you got to get it in and get it done, okay? Right. And I really do think, I really do think that if he sends mil he said he will send military and sheriffs out to block, I mean, not to, 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 to monitor voting sites when people are in line and waiting and all that other stuff. So he's doing everything he can. So y'all got to do everything you can, period. That's it. Everything. Um, yeah, man. So, uh, and, and Aquaman, I mean, they get, they get so distracted, bro. They get, our, our audience gets so savage and so distracted. I love y'all though, but y'all get violent quick. Yeah. And then y'all be like, what? We going Wolverine on these niggas? Sneak? <laughs> and I'm like, where'd you get, where'd you get metal claws from? Yeah. What, yeah. Why? But no, end of the day. Is right. uh, okay. Uh, okay. Chief, uh, lady, Chief, Chief lady. lady, FRN said, "I'm doing my absentee application now. Appreciate that, Mama. Do it and tell your tell your peoples about it. Right? Like, tell them how easy the process is. Like, literally. And we talked about this on the first hour tonight. But your your Attorney General, who's part of this Trumpy Dumpy administration, is trying to say that mail in voting is this going to be a big window for fraud." And that's something he pushed tonight, too. He's like, well, we've never done mail-in voting this wide, so it could be. Um, understand that he also said that he votes absentee, but he takes his ballot and walks it in. And that's all we're asking you to do right here on Savage AF. I'm going to ask you to walk your vote in this year, y'all. Well, you know what? Like, you could take your yeah, absentee like, ballot, I fill it out, and walk it right into your... Right into a station, into your secretary of state, and drop it in the box, and it's official. It better be, or your secretary of state ain't shit, and we could run up on them. But I want to say, I want to say, go in early as possible. Don't wait. No, I'm saying, yeah, don't try to try to avoid waiting in line and. Older people, you know what, because a lot of older people can't get out. Get their shit and yeah. take it in for them. Because right now, we got, somebody said that. I, I'm going to read what they said. Uh, uh, they wrote it big as fuck, and I like that. Uh, oh, shit, it went all the way back. Because we got a lot of people, it's scrolling. Well, they said, oh, here we go. It's uh, Me So Blessed said, if we unite as a people and get on one accord, it won't matter who's in office. Either way, we're fucked. I'm still going to vote. Wow, I started off so positive, me so blessed, and turned it like, it don't matter. Shit, they all gonna get raped die, anyway. Die, die. What the fuck? No, but we do have to vote. I know, what the We do have, she recognized that. You yeah. gotta vote. Or you don't have a say. That, that's, that's your voice. The, voting is what allows you to talk shit in the streets. Because you voted for something, and it didn't work out, so now you can voice your opinion in another way, because you did it the initial way. But if you don't vote, and you're just out in the streets yelling, Shut the fuck up. Nobody's listening. You, 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 yeah. you kind of, nobody's you listening to you. Forfeited, sorry, your uh, right to talk shit because you didn't do it in this legitimate way first. And I'm not saying it's the only way right. to get your shit, but I'm just saying you gotta, you gotta vote first. Talk shit that way first. And then, right, it you, work you out. use your vote to talk shit. But other than that, I'm like, that's the same thing with a lot of things. I, you know, uh, that you gotta, you certain times you just gotta shut the fuck up and do it. Do you know what I mean? Do and it's as simple as that. I know there's a lot of things in my life that way. And by the way, somebody said I'm cutting out. Am I still cutting no, out? Good. I thought you're it was good. better. You're, you're, you're a bit, you're a bit I'm good. Now. Okay. You're okay. Good. But yeah, I, I still good. think that even if we vote, even if we vote, I think that Trump is gonna get all of his, his horde. He's gonna get his orcs to come out of the fucking deaths 
of hell and he's going to try to say fake news i didn't lose even though i lost by five million votes i didn't lose it's wrong it's bullshit and his people are gonna believe it and we're gonna have a civil war and i'm gonna have <clears throat> pedro on the front line as a young and strong and i'm old and i should be sitting at home watching it on tv that's what i should be doing in my old ass because <laughs> i am 75 <laughs> years old people to the right to the left Yes, we shit. They shooting at you, yes. duck nigga. What you doing? All right. Why ain't you ducking? <laughs> All right, so, so, so one thing we can talk about too is uh, we could go back to the and we are Savage AF, and uh, this is an after dark episode because uh, yeah, as you can see, my 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 dining room is completely blacked out. So we after dark now, my dude. Yeah. But um, I had to come inside and make sure you always getting so dark outside. Yeah. Make sure you follow at Comedian Shang and myself at Black Pedro. And Make sure you follow, follow at, at Black Pedro. At Savage AF Radio. That's the handle for the show itself. But um, Sturgis, South Dakota, they had the, loud, the largest gathering uh, during the pandemic. Uh, probably uh, estimated 200 uh, plus thousand people, 250,000 people. Uh, motorcyclists, right, for a biker convention. Ugh. In Sturgis, South South Dakota. By the way, uh, Governor yep. uh, Noemi, uh, she's uh, you know been one of the worst on this thing. Never ever did a lockdown at at all. No kind of restrictions or anything at all, at all in the state. So the whole thing never ever did any kind of lockdown at all. So you can see why they had this. You know what they call the super. Super spreader, what Fauci would call that. Right. Um, and uh, we've had a, their first death. Uh, 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 you know, a European American man in his sixties died, um, and they, and now they're worried about spikes in four Midwest states surrounding that area. Um, right. And 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 duh, are we surprised? And they were like. Yeah, God, exactly. And these guys are like, I'll tell you right now. I'm going to do. And I know a lot of people don't believe it's real, but God damn it. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> and they fall over. Look, I saw that coming. I, I was, I know this sounds bad. I was pleased that it was coming. I saw the people from the footage, the people that were up there deserve it. Even and so you think it's not real now? You goofy motherfuckers. And I said this on a show earlier today, and I'm gonna say it again. People say, Well, mate, I think it's fake. Let me hip you to something. Sometimes nature does some fucked up shit. A virus is part of nature doing some fucked up shit. Just like a hurricane or whatever, where the Mother Nature goes, look, y'all been fucking up my shit for a while. I'm hitting y'all back. And that's what it is. And you got to grind through it and get through it. But you got to be smart when you get through it. And a lot of people don't. Because Ebola was, was supposed to kill a bunch of people. But they took swift action. And... ...is COVID Central. It's actually per capita. They have more people than LA. LA getting the COVID. Makes no sense. That's a fact. Makes no sense. Yeah, no, it makes sense. It makes sense. Same, same amount of senators, <laughs> nigga, like 1% of the population. Like, it must be Buffalo getting COVID in the Dakotas because there's not, they, literally, they, that's why people come to South Dakota because there's nobody there. <laughs> like, that's why they were doing the bike rap. Like, they shouldn't have a say in anything ever. They shouldn't even be allowed to govern <laughs> themselves at this point. Like, <laughs> Dakotas, you're done. Like, you fucked it. You know what? Y'all shouldn't even be allowed to wash your own ass. You shouldn't even be allowed to wash your own ass. You shouldn't be able to. But you, and then, when you do wash your ass, apparently you wash your ass with bitch soap. 
Yeah, you're using bitch, yeah, so because you're all a bunch of bitches. And bitch, <laughs> I just, I'm on that word today, and I don't want any ladies to get disgusted when I say the word bitch, because I'm not yelling bitch at you. I'm saying people got bitch-like qualities, and that's what they're doing. What the fuck made them think that they wasn't going to get a, a fucking super spread up there? It was probably one dude named Dwayne, and he was driving a goddamn motorcycle and coughing on motherfuckers. <laughs> Yeah, I get a cough every time this right. year, man. No, you know it's a, uh, it's like one of them things. We saw it, right? We saw all the people congregating. We saw, you know, people being like, "Ah, oh, fuck masks," you know what I mean? Blah blah blah. All right, so we got one death so far. We have spikes in other states. Once, once, once they they're gonna be able to track it posthumously. Motherfuckers are gonna like it's gonna be right. all linked to this shit, right? Like, it's gonna be easy, right? Like, stop, stop. Yeah, motherfuckers. Wait a minute. Okay, L let me. So, y'all, am I still Teddy rallying it? Is it still doing that shit? Because it seemed like it's fine. What? They yeah, somebody said, I, you know, that yeah, you can. That's what I'm saying. You gotta sit real still. Once you start moving and waving your hands. This shit gets into a uh, Legoland or Tetris face, but see, like that was too much movement. You got pixels right there. You went into like uh, Boston Celtics, nineteen eighty seven parquet floor. <laughs> yeah, it's cutting out sometimes. So, like, oh. if you if you just stay still, see that head movement? That's too much. Your head, yeah, the hat is fucking up the whole thing. Now, good. You literally, you gotta hold your head right here, dog. You just be like, "I am saying." All right, so me so what I am saying, yeah. <laughs> you gotta stay right there, dog. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, uh, okay. Herman Cain's that's hilarious. Herman Cain's Twitter account is still talking about COVID <laughs> isn't dangerous. It's still talking about COVID isn't dangerous. <laughs> and listen, I don't mean to laugh at a dead man. Unless it's Herman Cain. Look at the coons. Look at the coons. Look at the coons. Always cooning <laughs> for you. Hey, my nigga. They, they cooned it up. You know they what, though? At the convention. They, cooned, they cooned it up, but you know what? That's fucked up that you would say that, but it's a lot of people don't realize that Herman Cain didn't even get love from the Republicans. They didn't show up to his funeral. Um, they didn't. They didn't give him a shout out during the RNC. Like, hey, one of our our people have fallen. Herman Cain. Nobody said that. So this motherfucker was dedicated to them his whole life, and they still were like, "Fuck you, nigger. We're not coming to you. Screw you, nigger." Kellyanne Conway, same shit. She's going Excel back to the crypt. Yeah, she's, like, she's the crypt keeper. Her, her and her husband are like, uh, "Do we love the president or our daughter?" Because their daughter is like. Fuck this family, man. <laughs> I'm burning this whole shit down, yeah. man. Like, their daughter yeah. turned into a skateboarder, basically. They're like, man, fuck this system, man. And you're the system, mom. And you're the system, dad. <laughs> now, fuck you. And fuck you. You're cool. But fuck you. And then she was talking to the Roomba. Like, the little robot <laughs> yeah, I know. vacuum. And, and like, her, her, cool. mother's, her mother. Fuck can't... everybody. His, her mother's uh, Kellyanne Conway said she said well I'm going to take time for my family so it took you that long and your husband's been against Trump the whole fucking time he's been talking shit against Trump but it was the daughter was like yeah if you even try to fucking go back to that job mom I swear to god I'm gonna get pregnant really fast I will yeah. get pregnant and it'll be a black guy and you know, it'll, it'll be, be a the big black guy and I'm gonna come home with a big black baby life. and you're gonna <laughs> fucking I'll you fucking fuck drown find him out. Ink if I He's have to to make him the blackest, blackest black guy I can find. <laughs> and guess what? We're gonna name Safa. Fucking. And you're not gonna do shit about it. What do you think, mom? So you better fucking quit. I'm gonna get pregnant. I'm gonna get pregnant. I'm gonna be on Teen Pregnant Mom 45 or whatever the fuck. You'll see, mom. It'll Never be like a, it'll, hilarious. It'll be like that scene from Don't Be a Menace where it's like, I'll get pregnant by the back of Wesley Snipes' neck. Like the the blackest <laughs> shit I can find. Like Whoopi Goldberg's eyebrows. Like I'll fucking whatever. Dog. Like, <laughs> like I'll get the blackest shit ever, nigga. Like fucking 
Akon. Somebody said, <laughs> I will I will come home with Akon's baby. Yeah. <laughs> I will fuck Flavor Flav and I will bring Flavor Flav. Akon's baby. hairline, like the blackest shit you could ever fucking. The blackest shit I can think of. Uh, but you know what? This is the wild shit about it is. It, I wonder how long her daughter was going in the pain against her about it. And it took her that long to go, uh, maybe, you know, two months before the fucking election, I'll bounce out. What the fuck? Oh, wow. Whoopi Gold's, Goldberg's gums. The back That's how black of, the this back of be. Forrest Whitaker's neck. Z, Zena, just, just, Zena T. Lynn just, knows what I'm talking about. She knows. She knows what I'm talking about. You know, that Bernie Mac. But no, you know what? I hate niggas. I hate niggas. I hate niggas. Dude, you look like the back of Whitta <laughs> Force Whitaker's neck. No, 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 no. Bernie Mac. No, no, it was no, no, it was do, no, no, it was. Don't be a menace to society while drinking your juice in the hood. Drinking where, your gin in where South. Bernie, yeah, where Bernie Mac did a, a parody of that scene from all of that. See, Boys I only watched hood. part of that movie. I couldn't get through it. Because Boys I in couldn't the hood, get through Boys the movie. In the hood, he was like, I hate you niggas. But Bernie Mac in Don't Be a Menace was like, I hate black niggas. You blacker than the back of Forrest Whitaker's neck. You look like Whoopi, Whoopi Goldberg's <laughs> gums. <laughs> like, he, he just gave, it, nigga, it was, it was one of the greatest scenes ever. I uh, wouldn't see, that being and said, yeah, I'll I'll also... Yes, I wanted to let you know. See, it, it, Pedro is getting getting his drink on, and I don't have anything here to get. I am out of edibles. I am out of edibles. I started, I'm, 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 I'm going to be honest today. Nigga, I finished off the champagne from yesterday at, like, 1 o'clock today. Like, I, I've been day, I was off today. I've been, I've been day drinking, nigga. So that's what we do in L.A. Niggas be like, oh, L.A. closed so early. Nigga, we've been drinking since ten fifteen. <laughs> Y'all don't understand. Yeah. When I used to watch they the NFL, they have day parties nigga, here. When I used to watch we the NFL, to... nigga. When I used to watch the NFL, you know NFL, y'all East Coast niggas. After your last game, they be like, "We now go back to your regular scheduled program, except on the East Coast, except on the West Coast." I'm sorry. You know what we do on the West Coast? We watching another game. Like, nigga, we had to wake up on Sundays. When I watch football, I used to I, I wake up at 9 o'clock to catch a 10 a.m. game. Your 1 o'clock game, the first game, it's 10 a.m. here, nigga. I'm at a 10 place drinking and beer. Then I get a start drinking. of beer we go to French toast and an omelet, nigga, at, at my Lions bar where I used to go. Nigga, yes, 10 a.m. We have drinking. night. They, we have day Fuck parties. They started, they started 12 and end at 7. We've already partied all day. Day parties. We used to go to the, I forget the name of it. What was the place we'd go to? For what? The day? The, the, the highlight room? Oh, oh. Where they have the different DJs. Oh, you talking about um, motherfucking uh, Kiss and Grind. Nigga, Kiss and a grind. black party in Beverly Hills that was off the fucking chain on Sundays, dog, right? Going down, Pat. nigga. Like, uh, 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 Victor Duplay. DJ Victor Duplay yeah. killing it, my nigga. Um, um, yeah, so, like, literally, that party started at, like, 1 o'clock in the afternoon and went to, like, 9. Pat. And then, and then y'all East Coast niggas are traveling. And you're like, oh, everything's closed, bitch. We've been drinking since breakfast. <laughs> I had eggs and wine together at the same damn time. Like, why are you sweating me right now? We are so fucking tired. We should have fucked by now. <laughs> I don't know why you're waiting. Like, West Coast, that's how we do it. Like, we drink all day. We day drink kings out here. And y'all East Coast niggas come out and be like, absolutely. Oh, it's only midnight. Nigga, we've been drinking since goddamn 10 a.m. Since like 10 a.m. Exactly. Like, what are you talking about? Okay, and another thing is, yeah, I can't do shit about the, the fucking like, Wi-Fi. Okay, I can't do shit about the Wi-Fi. If I move, if I don't move, I'm sick of this shit. I'm fucking getting rid of it. I'm getting rid of the phone. I'm getting rid. Of, I'm moving because of the Wi-Fi. Got to do it. That's <laughs> it. 
got to relocate the studio, my nigga. They don't have the services we need. Um, but yeah, for those who don't know, and if you ain't been out here and hung like that, like you got to understand, like that's what we do in LA. It's like this is the day during the day they make. party. Like, all, like brunch? Vegas, Vegas, they do is brunch? That. Vegas is a 24 thing, right? But like when you come to LA and you're like, oh, everything closed at one. It's like, that's because motherfuckers have been literally drinking and driving around the city for 12 hours. <laughs> okay, so like, get the fuck out of my face. Like, for 12 like, hours. Stop. Stop. Getting you don't lit. want any more drinks to be served. Like, get your ass home. If you don't have a plan after right. 11 p.m., fuck yourself. Fuck your feelings. Fuck your plans. <laughs> Go back to your hotel room or wherever your Airbnb. And nigga, you should have bottles. Okay, go to the gro Ralph's. We'll serve until like one. Uh, that's a grocery store chain. But nigga, like you not no, <laughs> we don't do that all night because you gotta drive. Even in the Uber times, you gotta drive still. Okay, your right. Uber driver. You, might take, you take an Uber this back nigga, to your car, and then you take then, your car to where it is. But nigga, Vegas is wild. Might... No, Vegas. Go ahead. Let's get it Tell in, but Vegas. daytime party wise, it's LA. But I haven't been to one for a while because I've been locked down on a fucking COVID with a fucked up Wi Fi. So, aside from that, this is Savage AF brought to you by us. Right. Um, <laughs> this. <laughs> this right here. Nigga. There right you here. Uh, uh, and we'll, we'll give a shout out to the Laugh Factory, I guess. Yeah. But right here. Okay. Okay. Is my fro interfering with the Wi Fi? How about everybody? Everybody. <laughs> Everybody kiss That's what my you ass. don't want to do. Everybody. Don't <laughs> start heckling. Don't start yet. My face get. Yeah, don't don't start, don't start no. It won't be none. Nigga, you understand don't, me? Don't do that. You Yeah, yo, first off, y'all motherfuckers don't understand the ramifications, repercussions of fucking with me. I am not the one. Watch yourself. Be careful. Stab mm. your goddamn eye. God damn it. You understand That's your motherfuckers. That's That's stab you. I will stab I will stab you in the thing. LA is not a fun place to party. Okay? I agree. All right, listen. Uh, we gonna just ignore that. No, is. L.A. is. No, no, no. I, I don't. No, no. I don't party you that much. You know what? Because I was gigging. L.A. in a fun place to party. You ain't doing it right. That's what I've been talking about the whole goddamn time. First of all, you don't know the right motherfuckers, and you ain't doing. We start our shit. We a sunshine. We the, the day we drink all day. Okay, that's what you don't understand. Niggas brunch on Tuesday. Tuesday is a brunch right. day here. I could take you to a brunch spot on a goddamn Wednesday. Monday, you want a brunch? Let's go. I got you. That we yeah. could pop bottles. Oh, yeah, but you know what, though? No, I the the most right the, the best place to party Daylight. in the country, other than Vegas, other than Vegas, uh I wouldn't say it's LA though. I wouldn't say it's LA. I'll keep it real. Miami. It's Atlanta. Ooh. Atlanta, is Atlanta Miami. Atlanta and Miami. For me, it's my and unfortunately, it's not Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't gotten to I haven't gotten to do it in in Atlanta like that. But I will say, the first time I got to Miami, uh, I got a drink. Uh, I put on my, my 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 swimming trunks, and niggas were on the beach with a drink, and I was like, "This is Vegas on the beach." And that's why Vegas is yeah. one of my favorite places because you could just walk around anywhere and drink outside. And that goes for the whole state of Nevada, by the way, because I've been to Reno and I've been to uh, what, Mesquite, Nevada. <laughs> like, them shitty... I've been to, yeah. Winner's Casino in Mesquite, Nevada, nigga. Like, <laughs> total place. Like, Winner's is not a Winner's Casino. It just, it'll fuck your head up when you walk in. But... Right. What I do know is that you could walk around the whole state of Nevada with a drink outside, like Happy New Year, and it's motherfucking, you know, four twenty. So, yeah, no, you know, New Orleans. I give you. I, I've been to New Orleans. I party oh, in New Orleans, Nola is but I mostly worked in New Orleans. That's another thing. New Orleans, uh, New Orleans. Nola. I've worked in New Orleans. That's you know. That's I've been there. Through, that's drive through daiquiri company country. I'm sorry. Uh, the first time I went to New Orleans, they picked me up and were like, you want daiquiri? I was like, sure, when we get to the hotel. They're like, no, we got drive through Nigga, they, they just left the paper on top of the straw. I was like, it's cool. It's cool. That's a closed container. I was like, you, yeah. I was like, you gator-minded motherfuckers are something else. And the, and the, and the, and the I, I threw that paper out in the window and was like, yeah. 
We driving in Drake. One of the best places in the in the world to go. I've actually partied at was Nassau Bahamas. Absolutely. Nassau Bahamas gets it in all day. Nassau Bahamas was great. Um, but again, a lot of places I went to, I went to do shows and I end up staying to party. Yep. Do you see what I'm saying? So it wasn't like, yeah, that was my purpose of going. Yeah. You know, and it was crazy. It was crazy, man. Yeah. <laughs> we party. Yeah. Uh, San Fran ain't no joke either. Yeah. No, it, 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 it ain't no joke because I've never paid more for a Whopper in my life. The San Francisco is a yeah. great city until you try and buy anything. Too expensive. And then and then it's the most expensive place I've ever been to in my goddamn life. I was like, yeah, I'll take a Whopper combo with onion rings. She was like, that'll be thirty five fifty two. I was like, bitch, I wanted one Whopper. <laughs> she was like, yeah. this. I didn't want a family of Whoppers. She was like, it's too expensive. Somebody said Jamaica. Of course, Jamaica. But... I say in, Jamaica, in Jamaica, but even Jamaica can't fuck with Nassau. No, no. Nancy in, can't fuck with Nassau. No, no. If you, if you, I don't know what you're looking for. If you want conch, uh, yeah, you know, Jamaica can't fuck with it. But if you want weed, nigga, I gave, I gave this dress. Jamaica. 20, the, the, the only time I've been in Jamaica, my hair was, I was younger and my hair was longer. It was, it was my hair was curly. Right. I, I just, I, it yeah, looks, it, there's a bunch it, of pictures on your it page. It looks like dreads, but they, they weren't dreads. It's just curly hair. But everywhere I went, they're like, dread, me got what you want. And I was like, me want what you got. <laughs> right. And uh, <laughs> this motherfucker, I gave this motherfucker $20 and he came to me with a bushel of weed like, here. <laughs> like, and it was and he, like, I couldn't then he said smoke it wait I couldn't he said wait week, and then he I came back fuck. again then he came back again and gave another bushel Dog. I mean and, and, and like like a week in this place I could not smoke that much and I smoked weed Dog. I couldn't get through it like I left I left like this much <laughs> in the hotel room like I hope y'all <laughs> smoke I don't know sell it resell it do whatever build a school off of this shit. I don't know. But the, <laughs> this nigga gave me way too much weed for $20. Like, Oh, no, no, no. No. You know what, though? It, it's the best when it comes to that. But I'm saying, the thing is, I, it's just not... Nassau is a whole different level. I've had a better time in Nassau. And I and that's my people. Right. Nassau's off the same, dog. And I, just not, still, and I still was like, Nassau is beautiful. Um... But the thing is, like, now, now you notice we didn't say Detroit. <laughs> hey. Detroit, I party Y'all ain't ready Detroit. for this shit. Nah, it ain't. Y'all ain't ready for this De shit. Detroit ain't. Ready. No, I mean, the house, they got the house on lock. But Detroit don't have the best parties. It's it's not the best party place. Now, it's, it's the, the best it's place. Not, I had a great time listen, doing comedy. I'm going to say this off the gate. Detroit ain't no tourist destination, my nigga. Like, you better know somebody. It just ain't. You better know somebody when you show up, nigga. Don't just be asking your Uber driver, so what's going on tonight? Ha! Bitch. Robbing. Hey, let's go to a party. Yeah, yeah no. Armed but robbing. but no, when I was there, don't, don't. I've been there doing shows, and I've been at the most hood, hood places in Detroit. And I'm going to tell you right now, I had a good time. Motherfuckers treated me right, but you could see the motherfuckers that was uncomfortable where they didn't have a collar shirt on and kept doing this. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. It, it was, it's like that. But I knew a bunch of people and I knew a bunch of comics, and so it was real comfortable for me. But I'm telling you right now, I just, I've been to a bunch of places. I've done a lot of places and toured. I've, I've toured all over the world, and I'm telling you, there's some. Um, London, London's off the chain. London and Amsterdam, props. London for sure. I mean, you can get. They got a place called the Bulldog. If you ever go to Amsterdam, got the Bulldog. It's it's a it's a bar that got where you can get angel dust and just there's an area where people just do dust and and get real high and just look do at dust. dust. It's the best. Look, yeah, you just a sit there and do dust. AJ Fit three sixty five says uh, Detroit equals possible death, but we black everywhere does. <laughs> Everywhere equals possible death, but 
in Detroit is more evident. Yeah, for sure. Like niggas, niggas yeah, will test yeah. you out but, real quick. But uh, <laughs> real quick, but. Kenosha, with Kenosha, Wisconsin equals death. So yeah, so so it's a lot going on, my dude. It's a lot going on. But I will say that yes, Detroit isn't your average destination town where you're like, oh, let's, party. let's just go and see what's up. You can get to Canada very easily, and Canada's nice. But yeah, you you should probably know somebody locally. You really don't want to park now. Comedy wise, comedy wise, yeah. Detroit's off the track. great, great audiences. I, I've enjoyed I'm doing not, shows not there, go. and I do shows all over Michigan. I did. Um, what was that place that was near the college? It was up there. We did a. It was. It was a comedy club right near the college. No, me and you, we both in we Michigan. Me and you did uh, Mark Ridley's in Royal Oak. No, it wasn't Mark Ridley's. Yeah, no, no. You and I did Mark Ridley's in Royal Oak, for sure. For sure. Then what was the other one? For sure. Um, I I did a couple in, in Michigan. I could have sworn I did that one with you. I know. I know. There, there was, I mean, there was, don't there get me wrong. Joy. The crowds were oh, nice. Oh, you and I did Mark Ridley's, and we did um, we did both. We also did... Um, you know Comedy what I'm talking Stellar, about. I think it's called. No, or the in Ann Arbor, Ann Arbor. Ann Arbor, Michigan. Ann Arbor Comedy Club. Yeah. I think it was the Ann Arbor Comedy Club. Ann Arbor Comedy Club. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It was in the basement of uh, Ann Arbor. below that restaurant. Yeah. And that's yeah, that that was Yeah, no, it's a, that was and now comedy club. wise, Michigan's off the chain. I've done tours up there, me and a comic named Courtney G. Get um uh, much Good health that Courtney G he has a lot of problems pertaining to his kidneys, and he had to get a kidney trans. He has to get a kidney transplant. So Courtney G, hoping that if if anybody knows Courtney G, very funny comic, lives in Ohio. Hope you're getting better. Um, but um, I just think that comedy wise, I have places that I remember for not comedy, and other places I remember for party. And party wise, L.A. has had some of the the dopest parties, and plus a lot of industry motherfucking parties out here where you'd be like, yeah, we're gonna be have a party on the roof of. Uh, this hotel, and we'll go up there and be like everybody and their mother. So, and also they're having comic. Also, I don't think people realize that in LA, when we having parties, we're also doing business. Like that's actually where the business goes down. Sometimes it's like you just said a thing poolside, and you meet a motherfucker, and then y'all exchange info, and it goes down. You know what I mean? And, yeah. a, and, a, week and like later, here, a week later, that's your production partner, and you don't even realize. You know what I mean? Like, right. It'll be a concert or it'll be an award show. Yeah, it could be anything, man. Like, yeah, we go to, like, the award shows have multiple parties, but they'll have an official party. And me and Pedro have been to some of the official parties, and they, they are really good. The DJs are good. And it, the motherfuckers started raining, and people still stayed out on the rooftop. Uh, I forget the, where was that one? Was that so? That wasn't Soul Train. What was no, that? No, that was um, is that a BET weekend or something like that? But yeah, like it was like you know, ladies were out with their weaves in the in the rain because it's LA in the rain. <laughs> and when you you that's how much matter. it is. But they, I know this is not political, eyelash, and we're not talking politics now. Face like this, and they're like, yeah, we good. <laughs> it's LA. We good and stayed. They stayed, but no. No, they have the Laugh Factory there, too. Yeah, no, they have the Laugh Factory. You're right. The people, yeah, but the Laugh Factory um, is is a chain. It's like there's a bunch of Laugh Factories. There's like nine of them. Not, well, 12 of them now. Yeah. And so in L.A., they only got two. They only got two. It's the Laugh Factory Hollywood, Laugh Factory Long Beach, California, and which is not, they're not close to each other. So with the person that asked me that, yeah, they're, they're, they, they are out here, the in Chicago, and they're, they're opening up, and they ain't opening up nowhere now. I ain't shit opening up. We can't do live comedy because no, they keep fucking God. shutting us down. They shut we, us down. We gonna figure out a way to do this shit outdoors live here, man, on a regular basis because we got we got to do it. I'm, Miss Unique underscore Love, you coming out to L.A.? Let me tell you something. Uh, LA is not like it used to be. It is the streets are quiet. Going on. Um, a lot of stuff like the places in Hollywood that used to be popping, all of them are shut down. Yeah, not, so not, it's a, it's a, and, no and clubs plus, going on right now. It's not doing that. Like it, you know, nothing but cops and marching out here. There's a lot of a protest march. 
and um, cops, and it's not good. And apparently, it's just not. It's going to open up in no time soon. Funny Bone is back on. Uh, well, yeah, I heard the Funny Bones are opening up, but they're doing limited thing. I just got an email cancellation for a gig. They are only doing a quarter of, of amount of people that's allowed to come in, so they can't pay my fee to do the show. So I am going to start a fans only page, and and it won't be me. I'll have I'll have Pedro. Pedro will be there. Right there. <laughs> Pedro will be there. Just he will shimmy in. He's just gonna shimmy for you. And you have to pay and <laughs> just just shimmy. I'm old, I'm it's a, just gonna I'm shimmy. Old school new man, we don't shimmy, dog. I don't, we don't shimmy. El Noob, tell him we don't shimmy, dog. <laughs> that, that oh El Noob, yeah, I know El Noob is like, that we don't do, we don't do that yeah, shimmy shit. We don't no, do. it's true, it's true. You have the one in Ontario, California. Yeah, you're right. That's the improv. That's not the Laugh Factory. Ontario, it, California. Me and Pedro have yeah. done shows out there many, many times. It's a very big club. How many times? And it's bigger than the club in L.A. And, uh, yeah, we've been there, like, multiple times. We've done the club in California. Uh, Miss Adverb, we did one up her way. Uh, shit, Tommy T's. Um, we, yeah. <laughs> Only fans. Okay. It's not cheap we anymore. San Jose. Well, yeah, I told you. I so, yeah. Uh, my fee is not high as fuck, uh, Miss Unique. My fee is not too high. It's just I can't go out for the fee of a quarter room full because I do a percentage of the, the door. That's why. Okay, gangsters don't dance. They boogie west side. <laughs> that was... Uh, and before that... <laughs> Me so blessed to ask, are you going to be in your tidy whities Pedro? First of all, <laughs> girl, I threw those out uh, last year. So <laughs> I'm either going commando or, you know, we ain't, we ain't doing that. Yeah. I don't think, I don't think only tidy fans whities or fans Pedro. only, whatever it's called. I don't think you can just have your balls swinging out. You can't have your dick just swinging <laughs> out on that. That's porn. <laughs> that's prostitution. Yeah, no, that's you can't really I mean. do that. That's not how that's supposed to You got to have something on, I think. No. Unless somebody else knows, but I've never been to a fans only or only fans page. I don't know what the fuck it is. I know that you can't be butt ass naked. <laughs> but I've seen Michael Blackson have on his fucking feed do, it, do the shit. Yeah, okay, Miss Adverb. I was, she was making a sandwich. Why don't you make me a sandwich, Miss <laughs> Adverb? <laughs> yeah, cut me half. You're selfish. Oh, damn, cut it in half. She made a foot yeah. on for herself. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. No, he said nobody. Listen, people talking about El Noob people said talking about me, no People talking about me dancing with Gertrude now. Like, listen, listen, that ain't gonna happen, y'all. First of all, that's not what Gertrude is for. All right, let's not. That's not, not what it's direction. for. All right, and that's not. That's not. Yeah, yeah that's not. <laughs> that's not what this is. It's protection, not erection. Okay, that's not what that is. Okay, yeah. nobody was saying nothing bad about you, Miss Adverb. We're just saying that we met you up at the fucking comedy club. Shut your mouth. In fact, why, do you, woman, shut your mouth. Men are talking. Oh! <laughs> you gonna get stabbed. I just, now, ladies, me. I was just joking. I'm not getting stabbed by her. Now, ladies, stabbed that was me. me. I apologize. She's definitely shut your mouth. Don't you hear a man talking? Now, if, there, if there's an uncle stab, if there's an uncle stabby, Miss <laughs> Adverb will be Auntie Stabby. <laughs> <laughs> she be Auntie Stab. No, no. Eve is Auntie, Auntie Stab. And uh, Eve asked you to wear we chaps got... and bring Gertrude. Now, see, I'm not doing that. All right. We got 30 seconds on this one joint. All right. So, this was thank a, you guys. We, we did the we did an excellent. This is a weird one. It ended weird, but that's what we do. Uh, we got like 20 seconds left. Shane, take us out of here, y'all. We appreciate y'all. We love you. Uh, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. tomorrow, Pacific Standard Time. I, hopefully, I'll make sure that all this is together. I'm going to go get a boost, and I will be back and make sure everything is good with the, the connection. We will see you tomorrow. Yes, Eve is Aunt Stabby. All That's right? It. We out. Aunt Stab a lot. We got five, <laughs> four, three, two.